Mindu, hi, I'm happy to You guys okay at the back? ठीक है? Okay. Please um. Okay. उनको 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 clear view देने देना. Clear. सुन ना तेरा photo हो गया ना? देखो नहीं तो photo में बाद में दूँगा. उनको लेने देना बिचारों. कब से wait करे? जाके China आस्था करके आएगा? अरे तुम लोग क्या लिटा दोगे उन लोगों को? थोड़ा कैमरा ऊपर करो बिचारे उससे नीचे क्या जाएगा वो? Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for coming out on a Saturday evening. I know you're all very, very busy uh, working the weekend and there's so much that you could be doing, but you've very kindly agreed to attend our press conference. And for that, we thank you. Uh, on behalf of all the children of Food for Life Vrindavan and our projects, I'll explain a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, the thanks go to you, uh, ladies and gents from the press for covering our event. And of course, the thanks goes to everyone who flew in from London yesterday to actually do the event. Um, and thirdly, the thanks go to the people here up the front who are going to feel some of your questions, which uh, I hope will keep to point about the charity and about the wonderful work that Vivek Bhaya is doing with us and, <laughs> and uh, the future as well, how we take this forward and helping the children who come from some of the poorest communities not just in India, but I would say in the world, if, if you have seen the level of poverty. Yeah. So, um, my name is Robin J. Ganatra. I'm the UK uh, chairperson and director trustee of Food for Life Vrindavan. I'm a volunteer of the charity. I've been working uh, as a volunteer for about eight years and helping a very wonderful gentleman who you'll see on the left of Vivek Bhaya. His name is Rupa Raghunath Das. Now that He's He's an Italian, Italian gentleman who spent the best part of 30 years here in India. He, wa he was Italian, now he's Indian. Now he's Indian. <laughs> now he's Indian soul, Italian nationality. Absolutely. Um, so we'll get to speak to Rupa Bhaya as well. Um, but first of all, a little explanation of, as to what we're doing and why I'm wearing a khaki shirt which says FFLB Challenge. This is representative of the rickshaw drivers of Mumbai and the whole of India. And what we wanted to do is do, to do a challenge which would take a bunch of reasonably well-to-do people who don't have poverty in England, but who want to give something back to society. Uh, they bought into the project, they bought into what we're doing, and collectively we decided that we would want to come to India and raise some money around the world so that we can educate some girls, as many as possible, quite honestly. And this was sparked from a conversation that we had many years ago when Vivek Bhaya started this wonderful project called Devi, which is the Development, education, uh, development and Education of Vrindavan Girls Initiative. Empowerment, sorry. Development and Empowerment of Vrindavan Girls Initiative. It's a wonderful, wonderful project. And the, the website is devi.com, I believe. <laughs> www. Um, and so we've decided that what we're going to do is something very challenging. A few years ago, we climbed the Himalaya Ladakh region, Stock Kangri Mountain. Kilimanjaro. A few years before that was Kilimanjaro. A few years before that was the Three Peaks Challenge in the UK. Uh, but this time we wanted to uh, find a way whereby we can connect with the people of India, meet as many people as possible along the route. Uh, and that's what brings me to the gentleman on the end, whose name is Ravenel Chambers. He's a Royal Television Society Award winner in the UK, a uh, filmmaker who's joining us on this journey and he'll talk to you a little bit about it. So we're going to be driving three-wheel auto rickshaws. I'm sure you've all been on a three-wheel auto rickshaw and know how inconvenient, dangerous, uh, <laughs> uncomfortable these things are. Uh, but we're learning to drive those rickshaws right now, today and tomorrow, and we're going to drive them 1,800 kilometers from Mumbai to the very southernmost tip of India, which is Kanyakumari. Woo! 
thank you. So, a big round of applause actually to the ladies and gentlemen who have agreed to do that. So that's enough about me. The, the charity is based in Vrindavan. We educate and empower the poorest of the poor, predominantly girls. The reason we ed educate the girls is because in such rural societies, the boy is seen as the asset and the girl is seen as the liability. So we're working our utmost to change that, um, how would you say that, unjust, injustice. Bilkul. Bilkul, right? Yes. Injustice of the boy being the asset and the girl being the liability. So we want to balance that culture and balance the world so that girls have just as much rights and freedom uh, uh, to, to get the education as the boys. In Bollywood media, there is a good balance. Because there are many girls that are represented. Hai. You see the girl power right here. Yes. Lots of female uh, journalists here. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's, it. that's about enough from me. I'm going to introduce you to a few people and uh, they'll tell you a little bit about why they're doing uh, this project. I'm going to start at the very end with a gentleman uh, who's wearing the hat. He's an award-winning hairdresser from the UK. He worked for a company called Hair on Broadway, uh, quite a few different companies. He has his own business now. And in fact, that business has been picked up by a, a television company in Spain, and they're going to be doing a reality TV show. So this is a man of the future, actually. He was just featured. Yeah, thank you. He was just featured on CNN, Christine Armanpour. Uh, which is one of the most popular news uh, anchors and uh, programs around the world, uh, where he joined. He's a gentleman of Muslim origin, and he joined with his Jewish brothers, and they go on the streets of London to give hope and empowerment to the homeless people of London by giving them a haircut. That's and great. That's really good. Commendable. And the haircuts would normally cost hundreds of pounds, <laughs> but he's doing that all for free 